got ourselves some Thursday night footballs for one and two. Miami Dolphins, who just lost last week on Thursday night against the Bills, are set to take on the two and one Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens don't have Lamar Jackson, of course, he is now with Buffalo. Let's start first quarter as DJ Moore with the nice gain of about 27 yards. Solid start for Miami's offense. Now second and three as Tua would be sacked by Jalen Phillips, the former UCLA Bruin. And then the field goal for Ricky Aguayo would doink off the crossbar and in. And the Dolphins would take a 3-0 lead somehow, some way. So here is Lenny Clay on first down. He's going to be stuffed up like Thanksgiving turkey by Charles Harris, bringing up a second down and 12. As here's Warren Blackburn, the rookie out of Wisconsin at quarterback. He would be intercepted by Minka Fitzmagic as he mossed Traquan McMillan and was able to make that play the first interception on the season for Minka. And then on first and goal, Tua looking to throw it, but he'd be sacked by Bilal, bringing up a second and goal from the 11. Last play of the first quarter, Tua. Tagovailoa, the former national champion at Alabama, would find Super Bowl MVP Devontae Parker for a Dolphin touchdown, and they would t extend their lead. Now 10 to nothing is him and DJ Moore dapping each other up, even though there was a Raven defender right in between them. First down, Charles Harris with an incredible shoestring tackle like sack. But the dance move, though, that's, that's not great. Baltimore will kick a field goal. It's now 10 to 3. Is on first down. Tagovailoa has DJ Moore, who's more wide open than a McDonald's drive through at 5 o'clock in the morning. He'd bring it to the 41 yard line. Then the very next play. Tagovailoa looking to throw it. Tagovailoa has to Kendrick Manning deep. Manning breaks the tackle and has open running room for a Dolphin touchdown, and their lead would get even bigger. That's the second year man out of V. Ohio State University, 17-3. Now your score is Blackburn on third and five. It's going to be brought down by Carl Lawson. Pressure also there from Quantavius October. 17-3, still your score. Baltimore has it back. Is on third down and six. Warren Blackburn, you might as well call him Kim Jong-un because he's launching nukes. What a pass right there from Blackburn, able to move the chains. I believe that's Traquan Smith who came down with it. And then the long field goal. From Justin Tucker, he drills it, and now it's 17-6. to Late in the first half, as excellent tackle from Jabril Peppers, keeping the receiver in bounds, and the clock would tick, but it doesn't matter as Justin Tucker kicks the last-second field goal, and now it's 17-9 to headed into the second half. And early in the second half, Tua got injured. That could be a serious injury, Dolphins fans, but luckily for them, he just strained his abdominal. He's fine. If he got hurt, then it'd be Taylor Reynolds at quarterback, which is not pretty. As later on the drive, Tua would find a Kendrick Manning for his second receiving touchdown of the day. 24-9 is now your score as Blackburn will hit it off for Lenny Clay. And Clay, the former Heisman Trophy winner at Stanford, would take it the distance. Marlon Humphrey unable to catch up to him. What a run right there from Lenny Clay. 11 carries, 86 yards, and a score making it 24-16. Tua on first down, scrambling like he's laying on a date, and he would be intercepted by Tony Jefferson. He was trying to get it to DJ Moore, who was wide open, but a bad pass, and the former Arizona Cardinal, Tony Jefferson, able to capitalize. Now in the fourth quarter, 24-16. Here comes the boom. That's Jabril Peppers with the force, and the former Westlake Hornet, Victor Van Vector, with the recovery. Second and six, Tua, the former Alabama Crimson Tide. He's going to scramble like eggs on a frying pan, and he's going to look deep for Devontae Parker going upstairs where Grandma hides the cookies, bringing it to the 17. And then here comes Carrion Johnson. One in doubt, Carrion, as Carrion Johnson with his first touchdown of the season, making it 31-16. A.J. Dillon had a really good game, but I guess didn't get the carry there. Fourth and three, Baltimore has to go for it. Blackburn finds Irv Smith Jr. in the drive would stick around a little bit longer. Second and ten, Quan Alexander. You can't spell intercepted without the D. What a play from Alexander as he caught it off of the shoulder of a right tackle. And Alexander untouched like weekend homework for a Miami touchdown as he read that screen pass like a book. So now your score is 38 to 16, second and two. 
Blackburn under pressure, and he's going to be sacked by Quan Alexander, who would end up winning AFC Defensive Player of the Week. And the Dolphins get the win by a final score of 38-16.